Hi everyone. Today we're going to read Jammy Day. I bet everybody's having a few more jammy days these days. Cliffy was in the middle. He had a big brother and a big sister. He had a little brother and a little sister. He had a nice cat that never scratched him, not even when Cliffy petted her fur the wrong way. Cliffy's big brother and big sister thought they knew everything. Cliffy's little brother and little sister hardly knew anything. Cliffy was in the middle. He knew what he knew, but most of all, he knew what he liked. One morning, Cliffy woke up, went downstairs and got breakfast. Nobody noticed. He turned his porridge into a volcano and let the cat eat from his spoon. Nobody noticed. It was getting late. Finally, somebody noticed. Cliffy, said his mom, get dressed, it's time for school. But Cliffy did not want to get dressed. So he did something a little bit funny, a little bit fuzzy. It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his mom. She might not have been paying attention. Cliffy put on his boots and his coat over top of his pajamas. Then he put on his scarf and his hat and he walked to school. Are you wearing pajamas? asked Cliffy's teacher. It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his teacher. She might not have been paying attention. The only tricky part about jammy day was the zipper. The best part about jammy day was the cozy flannel. No, the best part about jammy day was being super duper comfy. No, wait, the best part was the footies. <laughs> I like footies. Cool pajamas, said the girls in Cliffy's class. Awesome pajamas, said the boys in Cliffy's class. Thanks, said Cliffy. He didn't tell them it was jammy day. The kids knew. They were paying attention. After school, Cliffy's dad gave him a snack. He asked, what are you wearing? It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his dad. He might not have been paying attention. The next morning, Cliffy woke up, went downstairs and got breakfast. Get dressed, you're late, said his mom. But Cliffy knew what he knew and he knew what he liked. It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his mom, again? It's jammy day, said Cliffy to his teacher. Oh, said his teacher, again? It's jammy day, said Cliffy to the girls and boys in his class. Oh, said the boys and girls, we know. Half of them were wearing pajamas too. It's jammy week, said Cliffy to his mom, to his dad, to his brothers and sisters, to the cat. It's jammy month, said Cliffy, <laughs> to anyone who would pay attention. Cliffy was in the middle, and that's the best place to be if you know what you know and you know what you like. Jammy year. <laughs> and his jammies are getting a little bit, um, uh, a little bit messed up. It shows he's got a hole in the toe where he's growing and he's got a patch on the knee because he was skateboarding and he's got a hole in uh, the heel because he was on a swing set. He's got another patch on his bum because it says grandma's patch and there's a spot where he spilled some grape juice. Oh my goodness, all kinds of things going on with those pajamas. So that's the end of that story. That was a good one. All right, so are you having jammy day at your house today? Yeah, that's a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> All right, have a good day, friends. Bye-bye.